All right, on to the tropics. This is day one of hurricane season and everything's pretty quiet out here. We have no spots that look suspicious or likely to develop in the next maybe week or so, even though there are some showers and storms out there. Our season forecast, of course, we know is very high. All, almost all the outlets that make forecasts have gone with above average numbers. For example, here are NOAA's and the average numbers you can see here. So well above average for named storms and the hurricanes that come from them and then the major hurricanes that sometimes form from those. So the idea is active season forecast. Not only are there warmer than average waters, much warmer than average in the central and eastern Atlantic early in the season. We'll also see El Nino, which is pretty much wrapping up now. We're almost at neutral, and now we'll see us trans, uh, well, moving toward La Nina sometime in the June to maybe August time frame. So near peak season, August, September, October, we will have that La Nina that causes less shear and causes more hurricanes. And remember, this is kind of the general setup. Cool and dry waters in this part of the Pacific. It leads to weaker wind shear, which allows those hurricanes to form and strengthen more easily in the Atlantic Basin. A little tidbit from the Colorado State uh, forecast, by the way. These are the chances they break it down, not just for the whole U.S. or the whole Atlantic Basin, but actually they have a chance of a landfalling hurricane by state. And you can see the Louisiana and North Carolina ones are pretty high, but not quite as high as Florida. However, when you switch to the chance of a major hurricane, notice that Florida's is there, but also high Louisiana and Texas, uh, also a higher chance for the major hurricane. Now, of course, these are just numbers. This is just a prediction early in the season. And as we know, even with these percentages, all it takes is the one to make landfall where you are. So good reminders to get prepared. Of course, here are the hurricane season names. With that La Nina transition coming up later in the season, we may see some of these weighted toward the second part of the season. And normally we see that anyway, of course, a huge percentage, almost more than 90% of the action for major hurricanes and really destructive storms comes in that August, September, October timeframe. So it is the first day of the season, but we have a while to go before it looks like we'll have any sort of action here.